All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing some projects some small projects out of th it's nothing but three quarter inch basswood it helps my hand a lot where I don't have to put a lot of pressure on big uh, pieces and stuff like that which I really can't do very well at all anymore because my hands can't it's hard to stretch because they go numb so quick and um, or hand this right hand but here's a little three quarter inch you didn't think you could carve much out of three quarter inch wood well here's a little cowboy that I carved out of three quarter inch wood and these are a lot of fun now you really get into the small areas here but it's still a lot of fun so um, we're going to uh, carve this and here's the pattern here's the pattern right here now I cut him out and then I cut in between his legs with the band saw so I could you don't you don't have to cut in between the legs but but I just did because I cut him out on a band saw all right now the first thing that I want to do is I want to be sure to separate the head from the uh, the head from the hat okay and that's what I drew this little line here for and then the head of the is gonna come somewhere like this see but what we're gonna do is we have three parts here we have the head the hat and then we have the top of the brim I mean we have the brim of the hat and then we have the top of the hat which will be separated from one another so let's start out first doing that I'm gonna put my knife down and just separate begin to separate the hat from the head and also from the back back here now go a little bit deeper all right now I want to separate the top of the hat which is going to be about come come about halfway well you'll see from the brim of the hat so I'm gonna do that by this I'm gonna take a little bit off here then I'm gonna to move to the other side and I'm gonna take a little bit off here Okay, and we'll kind of shape this later. Or we're going to bring that in a little bit more anyway. But, so we've done our separating now. Now, let's go ahead and separate the head from the body. Which I told you it runs up here like this. And it runs up here like this. So what we're doing is separating the top of the hat, the brim of the hat, the, the head, the body. Okay? So let's go ahead and work. Now what I do is from each side of the head I begin to work. I begin to sort of come up at an angle with it as we make the nose and everything like that and as I remove that wood then it gives more room up underneath the hat we want the hat to look like it fits on the head 
but don't, don't fit on top of the head, but fits underneath the hair and fits underneath the... So that's what we're doing. Like that. See where it kind of comes up? Well, that way we can kind of uh, start making our nose. Our, of course, this nose will be too big, but... But, uh, now, let's go ahead and come up here. Let's just kind of work our, our top of the head a little bit. We're just going to kind of shape it up. Just like that. And we'll do more later. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this brim on each side. We're going to curve that brim off. Now on the back of the hat here, you got to be very careful. And the front of the hat, don't put too much pressure because you can break that all off. So take it very slowly. Just the tip of your knife. Look at that. See, just remove like that push push cut like this kind of like that now especially in the back because we really it's thinner back here so we want to be careful see how i'm losing the tip of my knife i'm not putting a lot of pressure on it very little pressure, taking just a little bit off at a time. You cannot be aggressive on a small carving, folks. Now I'm going to take this and just take a little, uh, this that's hanging on there from the bandsaw. Okay. You cannot be aggressive with these type of carvings. You have to just take a little bit off at a time. Because if you do, you're going to break it. Now, let's go back here at the very back of the carving where the hat is. And let's take some wood off there so that we can get this brim. See up underneath here? Get this brim out a little bit. And back here where we get a little bit of uh, get a little bit of uh, just kind of taking a little bit off in in there and a little bit off underneath there okay And let's go ahead and remember our, our face is like an egg, so I'm going to kind of cut this in here. And so we have, basically, I'm just removing a little excess right in here that I didn't miss, but just kind of, we have our, the start of our face, our head, hat, and the top of the hat. Now, Let's decide now where we're going to put our hands on our body. Let's, let's concentrate on our body a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of this underneath the head here so this head can stand out a little bit more on both sides. Just like that. See? Okay? See how it makes it stand out right in there? And I'm going to do it on this side too. There we go. Where that head stands out a little bit. All right, now on this side, I think what I'm going to do now, uh, yeah, before we, we go in between the legs, yes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this hand coming down and then coming here. Let me show you. It's kind of like it's, it's in its pocket, but it's not. The hand. 
comes all the way over here and then comes out like that and then goes like this in other words and I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna cut down to the hand right there because we want to give him a hand here now we're gonna cut back on this and I'm going to cut back over here. In other words, I'm going to we'll, we'll, we'll get that straightened out. But we want to we want to get the outline now of the hand. Now you be real. And then I'm going to come where the hand is and I'm going to cut underneath here to bring that hand out. See just like this. Now, of course, we're going to bring this back. This is all going to come back a little bit. And this is going to come forward just a little bit like that. But his hand's coming down, just, just kind of laying it aside. Now, the other side, we're just going to go ahead and put it in his pocket. Always cut and you're gonna see that just about everything I do is with a knife very little is done with anything but a knife on, on what I do it's more like a, a whittling than it is actually carving so much let's take a little bit more off in here And of course we make a indention here and we put the hand in the pocket there okay and we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit further with this all right now let's go to working on our legs a little bit where we'll get back to our arms and stuff but we're just establishing where they're at we want to put our knife in between here and just give a cut And in between here and just remove some wood from the inside there and from the outside here we're just going to cut those legs down a little bit I'm going to come in between there again so we can get kind of a a, a nice little see that in between there cleaning that out in there and then we can go to the back and we can do the same thing what we're doing is we're separating the shoes and the legs you won't have a lot of room to separate from but you've got some okay I think my time is up right now but we will continue with this.